Why I put number one? Tips number one. The U factor. Yes? Very good. Very good. Can you elaborate? Can you go deeper in that? What do you mean? That everything started within you. If you see my past, there's no chance for me to stand here today in front of you. But something happened in my life. I changed my life. I'm going to show you. God also changed my life. But I, I did my part. I did my part. So what happened is about uh, enthusiasm. I hope I have shown you that. The first step I get here, I show you that I love what I'm doing. Because if you don't love what you are doing, if you don't enjoy your presentation, no one will. <laughs> right? So you need to show the participants that you love, you enjoy it. If you don't, no one will do. Even if you speak about data, the numbers, at least play the game like you love it. <laughs> at least. <laughs> at least. But even better. If yes, you do it because you love it. Now, self confidence, believe in your presentation, ladies and gentlemen. That's the key. And James Allen. I actually, I don't have time today to talk about James Allen, but James Allen is the one who helped me change my life in 1997. When I was in Melbourne, I was sent to Melbourne by Mr. Ron. Mr. Ron is American. He sent to school about 100 Indonesian students, and three of us sent to Melbourne. Uh, and as we shared earlier, Dr. Ring, uh, that if parents do not look over the children, and no one can, no one can take care of the children, uh, they can go wild. I went wild. Mr. Ron sent me 2,500 a month. 2,500 a month. That was 1996. 1996, I was in Melbourne. Actually, what I need only around 1,500 enough at the time. So 1,000, I met a group of Indonesian students. At the time, they used ecstasy. And I went there with them. I ruined my life. And 97, September 97, I decided to take my own life. I cannot go detail in that. You can read in the book. But what happened, one day I come to a bookstore. And it happened that I find a book written by James Allen. The title of the book is As a Man Think. Now, in the book, written this sentence. And it's a very recommended book. I know that also Gramedia has translated the book. It is a very important book, classic book. You are today where you... Now, it, it actually talked about four, four boxes. I don't put there, but... He said like this, whatever you believe will make an action. Whatever an action you make will create, will wake up your potential or talent. And the talent will determine the result. I'm talking about mind, and believe. Okay? Whatever you believe. For example, I used to get very bad grades for accounting when I was in high school and also in university. And he told me, do you know why you always get that bad grade? And he told me in the book, it is because of the mind. Because you just think that you cannot do it. Now, I say, Jeff Salmond, when I read the book, I'm just like a kid, and I communicate through the book, and I read it, and I say, what do you mean, James? And he said, Lord, whatever you believe will create an action or effort in your life. What we call action or effort. Now, effort means 
When I was in high school, or when I was in, in, in university, if I see myself incapable, not capable to learn accounting, do I wake up in the morning, early in the morning, and motivate it, full charge, go to campus, sit in front, and learn? When I only have what I'm, I'm James Allen said, if you only have 50% believe in yourself, only 50%. So I tell, I'm telling myself, will you pass accounting to this semester? And I said to myself, no, I will. Are you sure you will? Oh, I think so. 50% according to James Allen. Now, if you only have 50% believe that you will pass that accounting to, what happened in the morning? Early in the morning, when you wake up full, motivated, full of trust, go to school, sit in front of the class, and learning hard? You won! Because 50% believe will create how many percent action? Maximum. 50%! Maximum 50% action. Now, what happened when 50% action this third box, what we call talent. Or, no, we call talent. He called talent, actually. Talent means, there's a, there's a theory, right, by a psychologist. He wrote a book, Multiple Intelligence. Not everyone is good in math. Not everyone is good in accounting too. But also, according to this research, to get six or seven out of ten is normal for everyone. Maybe not ten, maybe not nine, but six or seven is normal. But the question is why I keep getting four, five, I fell twice. The reason is I learned from James Allen. He said, Lord, do not be surprised. You get that result. Now, four is what we call result. Result. You get the result maximum 50. Why? Because talent driven by action. Now, if belief is 50%, and that belief creates 50% action. Now, guess what? That, that action. Drink, drive, and create maximum talent, 50%. And when you get 50% potential out of you, you will get maximum 50% result. Isn't that true? Now, what happens when you get 15 or 50, 5, 0, and your report? What do you say to yourself when you get 5 or you fail? What do you communicate to yourself? What do you communicate to your brain when you get 50? Because this is a shikol, ladies and gentlemen. When you get 50, what do you say to yourself? It will be not 60. Going down. 40, 30, 20. And there is a point in my life when only red accounting too, I feel trembling. I just don't like it. You know why that happened? It goes back to your belief. You want to change the result. Chest the talent. <laughs> Anthony Robbins wrote, wrote a book, Awaken the Giant with them. There is a giant in every one of us. We need to awaken the giant. How do we do that? Start from the mind. Including when we call about self confidence. It doesn't come automatically, it needs work hard. You need to make a decision today that I will be one of the best trainer presenter in CP Indonesia. That's a decision you have to make. And no one can make that for you. You are the only one. I mean, the management will create this two, to this workshop. But whether you will get something out of it or not, it is definitely your own choice, ladies and gentlemen. So, James Allen told me, if you want to get 90, what do you have to do? Change this. Start for 70. And I ask him, James, how? And he said, He's, this man is funny. He said, you, you ask me how? Yes, how? Just believe. Yeah, but how? Don't you listen to me? He said, just believe. Believe that you can do it. And thousands of ways Thousands of ways will come into your way to make sure that what you believe can happen. But you start it, start it and say, yes I can. Not many of us can do that, do we?
we, 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 we are, we're not accustomed to do that. But well, he changed my life. I share to you because he changed my life, and hopefully, it works for you too. Okay. So because when you change seventy, action will follow. When I said, I said, okay, James, I want to do what you say. This semester, I will pass my counting too. And that day, I woke up earlier in the morning. I went to school, sitting in front of the class, and I collect four hundred dollar. And I pay an Indonesian friend to teach me accounting too. And today, happy to share with you. After changing that first box, I can't get a good result from Deakin University from a boy who born in that village. And I can graduate from that university, even though 98 Mr. Ron asked us to go back because Indonesia hit by crisis at the moment. So I had to wake 11 o'clock in the night up to 9 o'clock in the morning. And I still manage my time and finished only one of the reasons I changed my mind from an unconfident boy to a boy that he can decide. I can 